This is the solution video for section 6.3, problem number 7. All right, so for problem 7, it's a solve each differential equation subject to the prescribed conditions. All right, so I'm given that ds dt equals s to the negative second cosine t, and that uh, t equals pi over 2 when s equals 3. All right, so that's going to help us to find the value of c to make this a specific solution. All right, so first step is to separate the variables. So my variables are s and t, so I have s to the negative second, and so I need to bring that to the left side of the equation. So I'm going to divide by s to the negative second, all right, and then I'm going to multiply by dt, so I have cosine t dt. Now, on the left side, ds over s to the negative second, if s to the negative second is in the denominator, that's really an s squared in the numerator. So I really have s squared ds equals cosine t dt. And so now, as soon as I separate the differentials and the variables, I'm ready to integrate. All right, so on the left side, the integral of s squared ds, so that would be s cubed over 3 plus c, of course, but I'm going to add in the c on the right side, as I usually do. Integral of cosine t is sine t plus c. All right, so now uh, I want to use the fact that t is pi over 2 when s is 3. So I have 3 cubed over 3 equals the sine of pi over 2 plus c. So this is going to allow me to solve for the value of c. So 3 cubed over 3, well, one of the 3s reduced, leaving us just with 3 squared. So 9 equals the sine of pi over 2, which is 1 plus c. So c is equal to 8 if I subtract 1 from both sides. So that means that my equation would be s cubed over 3 equals sine of t plus c. Eight. Now, this would be a version of the specific solution, but it is still implicitly defined. It's not explicitly defined for s equals. All right, so um, on the answer sheet, I believe I just have multiplied this by 3, and so I get s cubed equals 3 sine of t plus 24, right? So this is just fine. But we also want to keep in mind the explicit solution, which would be found by taking the cube root of both sides. So we have the cube root of 3 sine of t plus 24, right? All of which are correct, but we want to keep in mind um, the explicit solution may be requested. Um, and so you do need to make sure that you can do that as well. But like I said, this is, I believe, what I have on the answer sheet.